Hello everyone, my name is Soraya and I do all the filming for my husband, Terry, aka Stutzman52. If you like this video or any other video on Stutzman52 channel, click on the subscribe button, then click on the settings button. Check it off and then click on the save button. Now you'll be notified by email of any new video uploads for this channel. Thank you. Alright, this is a water pump housing off of a 2001 Ford Escape with a 2.0 liter engine. Now what I have here is a stripped uh, threads in here, so I'm going to put a Healy coil. This is going to be an M6 by 1.0 millimeter bolt. Now, I have it on the drill press. And what I want to do is I want to make sure, and I'm moving this around a little bit so I can get that drill bit centered over that hole. A lot of times when you're putting the drill bit down in the hole, you can see that the drill bit will kind of bend a little bit. So you know it's not quite in the center. So what's, what I'm doing right now is just making sure that I'm lined up. Mm -hmm. Now let me look on the other side and let me see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it down the table. Now I don't want the piece to be moving so I'm going to be putting a C-clamp on there. Because once we get that drill bit centered over top of that hole we do not want this piece to move anymore because we've got to put a tap in there after this here drilling operation. So we want to make sure that the tap is going to be coming straight down into the hole. Now before I lock it down with the C-clamp. Check one more time. Just want to make sure we are still looking good. Maybe setup is everything. That looks good. Let me check the other side. Okay. All right. Looks pretty good to me. Lock it down. So now, we don't want this thing to move. Alright, now, I've already measured the depth of the holes, and it's one half inch. So I've already set my drill stop so that it will go one half inch down into this hole. And basically, I, I bring my drill press down till I touch the top of the workpiece. Then I put it on zero, and then I go another half an inch. What is that? This is cutting fluid. Okay. Even in aluminum, and even though it's a soft metal, you always want to put some kind of cutting fluid. filings away. Now we'll put a little bit of uh, cutting fluid on the tap. Just a tad on the hole. Now you see the idea is that the workpiece hasn't moved, the chuck hasn't moved, so everything is still in alignment. So now what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to start it and I'm going to try to get this thing started by hand. That's going to add your threads into that new hole. Yep. This is going to cut the new threads. But you can see how everything is being perfectly straight here. 
instead of trying to do this by hand with a hand drill. Mm -hmm. I did do a little bit of machine work. In, my, mm -hmm. in, in your my, younger years? In my younger years. <laughs> So when you get the pieces of metal in there, I like to take and back it out, clean that out, get the uh, debris out. Okay, let's blow this off. Just a little bit more cutting fluid. Brought some real clean threads in there. Okay, and that bottoms it out. So now I'm going to screw it back out. Keep your pressure, hold on to your handle over here. Just don't let the, you know, let it come up by on its own. Okay. Now the final cleaning. Now we're going to take this tool, it's got a slot in it, here's our helicoil, this is for M6 by 1.0 bolt, millimeter. Now you see there's a little tang down here on the bottom, that will go down to the bottom of the hole. So we'll slide that in, get the tang down in that slot of the tool, mm -hmm. slide them back up a little bit, and now... <laughs> We will take him and we will see, him see if we can get him started in there. And then you just screw it on down in there. You want to get the top of it about half a thread below. And it looks pretty good right there. Now we got to get this tool now. Out. Let's take our bolt. Let's hope. And let's see if we can get them started in there. Oh. Yep. So there you go. That's how you put in a helicoil.